people. They say I got my pops demeanor and mother's speeches. The garden still private. We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. They had no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. And he'll earn a couple of tough yards past the 30 to the 31. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And this defense holds on the night's opening drive. A first down carry. Down to about the 22 here. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. It'll be a gain of just a yard. And now we've got a third down and three. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Here's Hurts to throw. That is caught. Fighting his way through contact. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Here we go now on first and goal. That's good for an Eagles. They'll try and run for it with Penny. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Penny. Is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. So a good job there, Charles, taking advantage of the short field, and they score first, punching it in on the short touchdown run. I love the theme there, right? They didn't have to do anything big on that drive. Took advantage of where they were on the field, took it downfield, put the ball in the end zone. The only thing big on that drive, the six on the scoreboard. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. Hey! 
The Indy offense at the line and set to go. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. They go to the ground again with Tanner. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Here's third and six. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off the option, here's Taylor. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ball on the 40 now. Here's the second down at six. Now Richardson, he's going to keep it running right. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. On third down, here's Richardson. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And so we're in the over. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. From the gun, here's Swift. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles have taken a two-touchdown lead now. The full team is involved in this game early, aren't they? Go down the field, score on offense, take the ball away on defense, and go right back and score again. you got to like the way that's working for them. That's exactly right. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, two-score lead. A little bit like you at breakfast this morning. i got to get this in. You had a perfect omelet, dropped it. It's a little bit of a turnover. You went right back, though, and got that omelet and crushed it. you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. you got to do what you got to do. A worried about your hands, though. Yeah. Well. <laughs> McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. Ready, break. Nineteen target. 
Tiger, 19 Tiger. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball down the field, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. On second down, it's Taylor. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Third and long for Richardson. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. He's on his way. And Brandon, how many times have we talked with these rookies out there? And when we finally hear from them that the game slowed down and they're able to handle things, not so far for this rookie because right now, back-to-back -back drives, they picked him off. Not college football anymore. He's got to find a way to handle what these defenses throw at him. Inside handoff, Penny. And he will take this one in for the Eagle touchdown. Rashad Penny with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, fans of old school football, they got to be loving this partner. All three drives so far have ended in a touchdown and all three on the ground. And when you say fans of old school football, count me in because you just don't see ground games dominate the scoring by pounding the rock like this anymore. To me, this is refreshing. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. Home and ready. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score okay, deficit. Ready? And if they don't score here, Great. that's what they Great. could be facing the next time they get the ball. Let's go. They go play action with Richardson. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. The offense on third down tonight. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third down and 12. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. On, now look on. at this, fourth and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. Richardson on fourth down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A gain of 22 yards. First and 10, Richardson looks to throw it. And that is incomplete. I believe I'm following their logic. Take the big shot downfield, loosen things up. You're hoping to get some points on the board before the half. Maybe now you come back and throw some underneath stuff in order to make sure you get a completion. Richardson under pressure, and down he goes. Now you gotta hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. That's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Going for it on fourth. Here's Richardson. And it's going to be batted down. And will go the other way with the football. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Hurts. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Second and five. Brings up second and five at the 31-yard line. Silver, silver, silver. 
They go play action with Hurts. That's going to be caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, 31 yards. And the Eagles are able to widen their lead here in this first half. So remember now, this was all set up by the stop defensively on fourth down. That's what got them this great field position. And then two plays later, they're already in the end zone. Yeah, partner, funny how it works like that. Uh, that's a momentum swing amusement park style. Your defense comes off the field, bouncing, grooving, they're fired up. And it carries over to the other side of the ball. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Ready, set. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensive. Oh, he's intercepted again. It's Richardson's third of the game. Keely Ringo picks it off. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. I cannot imagine a more perfect half of football for one side CD and a more disastrous half of football for another side. But if you focus on the positive half with this pick six, you look at where that lead is at and to think that we are only in the second quarter. My goodness. <laughs> I love the expression. My goodness, indeed. Pretty obvious. It's a free fall out there. Everybody gets a chance to make a play. And if you're on the field, you've got a great chance of being the next guy that your teammates are celebrating. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find 